friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india this is a cataract with grade 3 plus or grade 4 nuclear sclerosis let us observe the surgical steps this is the main incision on the posterior aspect of the limbus with a 2.8 millimeter keratome you can see oozing of some blood from the lips of the incision and this is good if there is some bleeding healing is good and moreover if any bacteria comes in contact with these wounds the first line of defense the neutrophils can attack the bacteria and engulf them easily then if the incision is made at an avascular area by this time all the incisions have been made now the capsulorexis is being done with the help of uh, utrita forceps the continuous cavilinear capsulorexis is completed and now hydro dissection is done this is 27 gauge cannula attached to a 2 cc disposable syringe yes after hydro dissection the nucleus is rotated some more viscoelastic substance is injected into the anterior chamber and now the tip of the phaco handpiece is introduced into the anterior chamber some superficial cortical lens matter is removed then the handpiece is turned the bevel faces the corneal endothelium now now this is submarine chow the tip goes through the substance of the nucleus and it is chopped this is one kind of direct chop submarine chop is my nickname don't bother about whether it is horizontal chop or vertical chop just hold it very nicely chop it and do lateral separation very gently and now once the nucleus has been divided into some fragments tilt each fragment get onto the apex of each fragment emulsify and remove them fecal power used in this case is 70 percent flow rate is 45 ml per minute and vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury this is the last nuclear fragment we have to be very cautious at this time piscirent occurs most of the time during emulsification of the last nuclear fragment take care of your chamber stability and now inject some visco this is 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose and now with the help of a 23G Simco cannula cortical cleanup is being done. It is very quick and it is very safe. One can use a bimanual irrigation aspiration also for this purpose. I make the side ports about 3 clock hours away so that the astigmatism induced by the main incision gets neutralized to some extent by a little larger side port. By this time cortical cleanup is done and now some cells are still there on the posterior capsule. Now see hydro polish means using the fluid jet to polish the posterior capsule. The irrigating probe is moved side to side and the lens epithelial cells get displaced and the capsule gets polished. SPMC has been injected again. In this case we have selected a Hoya 
intraocular lens. It's a beautiful lens. It's a hydrophobic single piece monofocal aspheric foldable intraocular lens. The leading haptic has gone into the capsular bag and the trailing haptic has also gone into the capsular bag. Now the lens is rotated and now the viscoelastic substance is cleaned nicely. I'm using bimanual irrigation aspiration for cleaning the visco. I'm going behind the intraocular lens irrigating the capsular bag so that all the visco from the capsular bag comes out. Now after thorough irrigation of the capsular bag and the anterior chamber, irrigation and aspiration are eased together and all the visco molecules come out. Now it's looking good. And now the side ports are to be closed. This is a bit of moxifloxacin. Now BSS is used to hydrate corneal stroma on either side of the stab incisions, on either side of these side ports. And these stab incisions close and become order tight. Friends, I am hammering on your head the same surgery day in and day out so that you get inspired and find out a way to master this surgery. The side ports are hydrated and we are towards the end of the surgery. This is a final lavage of the anterior chamber. A thorough lavage of the anterior chamber is carried out with BSS. Here it is. A thorough lavage with balanced salt solution is carried out and the antechamber is thoroughly examined at this time. There should not be any cotton fiber any particulate matter, anything in the anterior chamber. Only pure BSS should be in there. The anterior chamber is nicely formed and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will inspire you to master cataract surgery very well. Be a great surgeon and serve the mankind with love, respect, compassion and great surgical competence.